suggest a simple buffer analysis, right? So we would say um, we want to construct a buffer on the roads. So we would use the geoprocessing function up top, and we would construct a buffer um, around the roads. And so the input feature for that would be the roads. And it's going to create a layer. And so we want to make sure that we know where that layer is going to. So again, I'm, I'm kind of putting everything on the desktop. So call it a road buff. And in terms of how far you need to be from the road to be accessible, um, it's probably going to be not very far. So what would you say? A quarter mile, less than a quarter mile? It's in meters, though. Well, it can be anything you want. Uh, say a quarter mile. Quarter miles. Let's be generous. So we'll put it to miles, and we'll say we'll make it a quarter mile. And we'll take that's going to be full rounded, and we want to dissolve too because what's going to happen is you're going to have overlapping boundaries between the buffers, and you want them to kind of merge where they where they hit each other. So um, that's all we need. So then we say okay. Um, and then what that'll do is it'll run through and it'll slowly generate uh, a buffer. And it's going to be a little complex because you know, there's a lot of roads uh, in the town. So you have to give it a second. And then when it comes through, we'll see that big, that big old mass is the buffer, which seems pretty big. <laughs> that seems a little excessive. Quarter so mile is kind of far. Smaller. Yeah, a quarter mile is pretty far, especially if you're on crutches. So I thought we were just talking about 